Hello my friends, welcome yet to another video from the Innovation Lab. So in this video I'm going to show, and this will kind of be a repeat of um, the design I showed earlier. So yeah, as you've seen in my previous video, um, I showed how you can build a very cheap and effective uh, but yet simple um, uh, battery charger using a very few components. And the components I showed there was uh, a server power supply, a DC to DC boost converter, and uh, this is a constant current and constant voltage DC to DC boost converter, and then a power meter. So, but then this second video is inspired by the fact that um, I realized there were some kind of uh, limitation when you're using this boost, uh, DC to DC boost converters. So it is maxed out at the maximum input um, current of these converters. Actually, the one I used in the previous video was a, as a, was a, a 1200 watt version. So this guy is, a, is, an, is the 1800 watt version. So this is limited to 30 amps. So what I realized was if you use a lower voltage, so you have a limitation to how much power you can drive through this guy. So my previous videos, I've used 12 volts, but then I realized I could only get about 360 watts out of this, this guy. So that was what inspired me to try to use a 24 volt uh, system. And by doing that, um, I'm also going to experiment hooking up these server power supplies, configuring them so that I can connect the output in series to give me a 24 volt. So um, this also was also uh, in an attempt to answer a question that one of my subscribers asked, if I can show how to configure these power supplies to give a higher voltage, uh, maybe connect them in series. So yes, so my goal in this video is to make this quick and very simple, something you can follow from beginning to end and, and build in less than five, six minutes. All right, so let's get to it. I hope you have fun watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to the Innovation Lab. If you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and um, share with your friends and then hopefully that way that everybody can uh, benefit from it. All right, so let's get to it. So the first thing you need to do is to configure each power supply, each server power supply, so that you can actually enable them. So if you look very closely here, you can see the uh, um, enable pins. Um, so you see, I believe that's pins one and four. So you have to connect. What I'm using here is a 39 ohm resistor across it, and that is what you have to do to enable it. So the next thing you need to do is that you need to open up this device and go inside it and um, to isolate the ground. So not for safety and uh, for additional protection when they're using this in the server uh, system. So the negative of the, uh, the output, um, the 12 volt output negative is usually grounded to the housing, which is connected to the edge ground of the uh, main supply. So uh, you need to isolate that because if you don't, now what happens is when you connect the two outputs together, so you want to tie them in series going from positive to negative to positive to give you the 24 volts. So it's gonna confuse the supplies because now you're basically bridging them. So yeah, that's what you have to do. And uh, once you have that configured, and you isolate it. Here I'm using like a tape um, to, um, to believe there is a screw that goes through the negative uh, terminal to the housing. So I remove that screw and tape it off. And that um, is really what you need to do. So the next thing I did was to make some 3D prints to uh, brackets to help me to make, to help me make like a clean installation uh, to be able to stack the uh, converters. So, and as you can see here, this guy is fitting very nicely. Then, uh, then I have this to hold it. So, and the way I designed it is such that um, basically I can keep adding stacks, maybe for future videos, I can see if I can make it will be kind of an experiment 
to see if we can make like a 60 volts or more uh, supply by stacking, um, I mean, connecting multiple of these 12 volt server power supplies in series. So something that I've not mentioned about this server power supply in my other videos is that this these power supply is actually, they are actually designed to be universal. So if you look at the input voltage, the AC input voltage range here, so you can take up to uh, um, a range of 100 volts to, to 240 volts. So that means, I mean, if you are from uh, India, if you are from um, Asia, you are from Africa, you're from the US, wherever you are, all you have to do is get these supplies, plug in and it will give you 12 volts output. So that's really, yeah, that's a big advantage that um, need that uh, if you're looking to do this, uh, that you have to uh, explore. Um, yeah, I just wanted to mention that. So another thing I did was to make this, uh, you can call it a special cable to allow me to connect the outputs of the uh, server power supply in series. As you can see, these are it's XT. Uh, 60 connectors in connected in series. So plugging in now makes it very simple and very easy. So So this is the first 12 volt supply and this is the second volt uh, 12 volt supply So now when I enable two of them plug in my AC inputs here and Enable two of them. So what will come out of here will be our 24 volt output Okay, let's see if that works all right, so first we turn on the system. As you can see, we see 24.61 volts, and this means that the series configuration worked. So now we adjust the output voltage coming to, that we're gonna use to charge the battery. So for just for a test. All right, so now it's time to do some testing. So uh, we're going to do that by using this universal charger to charge some batteries. So going from the left to the right, you see the power outlet coming in that brings in power to the uh, server power supplies. And this here is the 24 volt server power supply that we have configured. And it goes from there to the boost converter, to the power monitor. Then I'm using the um, a combination of two 24 volt LiPo battery packs. And for these uh, two batteries, I would need about 62 volts to charge them as the charging voltage. So right now what you're seeing here is a 50 volts uh, battery level com uh, combined between the two batteries in series. So, and this has already been configured to 62 volts. So, uh, so let's bring that in and see what happens and uh, adjust the charging current. All right, so what you're seeing here now is the battery voltage as I talked about earlier. So let's go ahead and look at the configured charging voltage uh, by turning on the uh, power supply. So as you can see the charging voltage for the two batteries, the two lithium faucet batteries um, is set to 62 point uh, six volts. Now we're going to bring back the batteries and um, we adjust the, uh, the charging current. So we've plugged the battery back in and we can see the, uh, the voltage of the battery. So now let's turn on the server power supply. So you can see with the universal charger plugged in, um, we are the charging current, I believe from the last time I used this, I set it to 5 amps. So now let's see how high we can go. It looks like we are at 5 amps, 254 watts. So let's see how high we can go. So adjusting up. So right now we are at 6.4 amps, 333 watts. And now we had 8.7 amps with an output power going into the batteries of 460 watts. So let's see how high we can go. So now we're at 
almost 15.5 amps um, at 870 watts going into the batteries so if we try to push it further um, maybe that will not be advisable but uh, yeah as you can see we were able to get to almost 850 watts using this configuration so there you have it my friends so for a universal charger as you can see that it can run pretty much close to a thousand watts and you're, you're able to configure and build this with less than sixty dollars or so yeah i think it'll be worth it to give it a try all right my friends uh we have come to the end of this video i hope you had fun i hope um you uh, learned something from the video if you did don't forget to give us a thumbs up share the video with your friends and um, I will see you in the next video so the next video I'm gonna make will be probably to wrap up this design to build an enclosure and uh, kind of make it look nice instead of having everything you know lying around like this because it will be so in inconvenient to use this to charge anything uh, the way it is so I'm gonna try to put it all together and in, in a nice enclosure so if you like to see that uh, be sure to subscribe to the innovation lab so you get notified when we make that video all right my friends um, see you in the next video